loves, welcome back to the YouTube channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria, the creator of Bahati Life Apothecary, professional astrologer, tarot, and intuitive reader. For those of you guys that don't know, and for those of you guys that are old friends to the YouTube channel, welcome back. As you can tell by the title of today's video, we're going to be talking about the full moon that's happening in the sign of Cancer. Cancers and full moon energy has always had a very special place within my heart always since the beginning of time and this full moon is special for a few different reasons we're going to dive into what it is that i can see within the chart and also we're going to pull cards as i'm connecting with the charts connecting with you and see what we should be manifesting what type of energies we're working with and any messages that we should be receiving at this time having said that you guys before i dive in seven of pentacles is showing up on the very base of this reading I really want you to tap into as much as you can what do you need to receive right now just go ahead and take a step back just take a step back and examine all of life all of your life the full moons typically bring a lot of energy up from the bottom up to the surface and they are very potent powerful moments in our lives where we are welcome to set massive powerful intentions they are moments in our lives where we can tap within the deep magical power within ourselves our intuition is heightened our sensitivities are heightened our clarity tends to be a little emotionally obscured if that makes any sense but we are still highly intuitive if you are gifted and you're tapping into that energy however if you're the type of person who gets triggered who panics real easily or makes assumptions or uh, jumps to a conclusion this is one of those times in your life where you want to pause you want to be calm you want to ground yourself you want to go for a walk you want to get out of the mind and back into the body and and connect to higher source those are the best that's the best way to work with full moon energy to start why because the full moon brings again a lot of things up to the surface it brings everything to culmination anything that has been occurring up until this point at the time of the full moon or the days around the full moon we're just kind of slapped in the face with some level of reality this is good because at least we can see things for what they are. And this doesn't necessarily have to be a quote unquote bad thing. It just is what it is. We're able to observe, we're able to see, we're able to feel, we're able to reflect, especially this full moon. Why? Because Venus is retrograde. Venus rules beauty, aesthetic, what we're attracted to, love, relationships. Um, Mercury is also retrograde, newly retrograde. Mercury rules communication. It rules our ability to understand information, our ability to learn, our ability to give and receive messages. It also rules tiny working pieces and parts. And with both of these planets retrograde, we have no choice but to reconsider, reconcile, um, revisit, revamp, renew aspects within our lives. And with the Cancer full moon, it's very clear that there for the last 28 days or longer because i'm also sensing three months for the last 28 days to three months time and everyone is different there probably have been some feelings that have been lying dormant some mysteries some secrets some um something that you probably were wanting and needing especially when it comes to providing closure that has been delayed 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 it keeps getting pushed off it keeps getting pushed off to the back burner what i can tell is that for a lot of people they've been moving from their egos they've been really moving from the space from their ego and a part of this, no judgment, is because they were just not ready. The word that's coming through to me from Spirit right now is handicapped. So they were not able to operate from a higher level of love and light because they themselves have been crippled, handicapped, and held back from showing up from a higher space, a higher vibration. And what ends up happening is that the people around them end up suffering the most. And like I was saying, you guys, at the beginning of this video, Seven of Pentacles here, we really want to take a step back and just 
with no judgment, we won't examine all of the circumstances, all the situations. How did we get here? Where are we? How did we get here? And now that we're here, let's pause before we decide what we want to do with this, before we decide what we want to say, if we want to say anything at all. What direction do we want to take? Now, again, there's this really strong message that's coming through that spirit is encouraging us, and this is not going to be an easy task, but from what I can tell by looking at the charts and by just feeling the energy before I even start cutting the cards, again, there's a, a heightened level of forgiveness here and surrendering. That was one word that kept coming through in the YouTube channel is this idea of surrendering and serenity. Surrendering what you wanted it to be, what you wished it to be, and what happened, letting it go. Letting it go even though mistakes were made, even though frustration was felt, even though regret might have been popping up, even though you might have been hurt, even though there may be some disappointing outcomes and dif disappointing events, or even though there might be some things that no matter how hard or far you reach, it just always seems outside of your grasp, or no matter how much you try to do the right thing, this person just kind of slaps it away. Realize that these energies that you've been working with or these energies that you've been working within have been very stubborn and they've been handicapped. They've been halted from being able to show up as their higher self. At some point along your journey, spirit is going to call you into a place of heightened selfishness. Some of this is self-preservation and some of you guys just have to learn your lessons. You have to learn your lessons. You have to do a little give and take. And again, this impacts the people around you. With Chiron moving to the sign of Aries, a lot of people have been selfish during this time and totally neglecting the other, totally neglecting partnership, totally deviating away from partnership. If they were working on their higher self, they might have done this in a way that has been respectful and reasonable and peaceful. But just looking at today's times, a lot of people kind of just are moving in disruption and chaos. Why? Because the foundation that they have built their life on, their belief on, their existence, their hopes, their wishes is crumbling underneath their feet as we as we speak still to this day. Uranus retrograde moving to the side of Taurus. I mean, this is the foundation. This is what is valuable to us. And this can really trigger panic. Why? Because this is root chakra realness, my love. Like this is root chakra realness. Your sense of stability, your home environment, what makes you feel safe, what makes you feel, this is who I am, this is my identity, this is how people celebrate me, this is what I'm known for, those are things that are actively being redefined within the last three months. So I don't want anybody to take this information and say to themselves, well, you know, that makes it acceptable how I've treated others or how I've been treated and I've just let it all go. No. What I am saying is that there is a level of understanding that brings clarity into your life and the situation that will be freeing for you. Now, what does this have to do with the full moon? A lot, <laughs> a lot, because the foundation, the path has already been laid. We're just kind of tapping into that. We're, we're, we're revisiting where it is that we've come from in order to help us understand where it is that we're going and why we're here now. So I'm going to pull these cards out and take my time with it because I don't like to rush spirit and I, I like accuracy and I like energy to be precise. I want it to be clear. I want it to be powerful. I want you to be guided. I want you to be led. I want you to be empowered. I do want to remind you guys, again, Mercury retrograde is newly, well, Mercury is newly retrograde. And don't be surprised if you hear from someone, if you hear from something from the past re-emerging at the time where the days are around the full moon. The reason why is because, yep, page of wands here at the base of this reading there is information coming through or a spark a passion a desire something that makes you ambitious and makes you excited excited again some of you guys when this comes through you might actually want to fight it immediately 
<laughs> I'm just going to keep it real with you. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. You may have waited for something or you may have been working on something and all of a sudden when it comes through, you want to fight it. <laughs> That's the vibe that it is that I'm getting. For, I just feel like a large port because part of you, some of you guys are like, yo, the audacity, the audacity, like now you want to show up, like for real. Um, with Mercury retrograde at the part of fortune and the sign of Aquarius, somebody is about to strike it big. Someone is about to strike it huge. Someone is having a revelation. Someone is thrust into the limelight. And something about this has, with, especially with Pluto and Sun conjunction, something about this triggers those that are around you in your environment that say, oh, I know her. I know him. I was there when. And it's just like, so you just want to skim over all of what happened and just jump right into the success and how good it is that I'm doing or how, how good it is that I looked or how far I've progressed now. And you don't even want to talk about what you did. You don't even want to talk about what happened. You just want to skim over it. And then that person says, yeah, sorry, like, can we just put that? No, like, let bygones be bygones. To each their own, you guys, keep in mind, this is a public YouTube channel and a lot of people tune into these messages on the regular so just um, keep that in mind at the center of this reading we do have the magician I, I want to talk about this at the center of this reading we do have the magician this energy is very very powerful it's very very potent it says I've got the power literally it's telling you I have everything that I need to be successful and with the full moon happening the sign of cancer this is a cardinal sign it's very active it's engaging and this feeling these feelings this power is coming from the emotional feelings and the intuitive feelings again taking a step back how do you feel what do you need what are you tapping into with the ace of cups here and the wheel of fortune you can tell that you are about to start a, a great journey within your life that has everything to do with your emotional fulfillment. Again, like I was saying, you guys have been watching and examining Page of Swords, Two of Pentacles, how your world around you has really shifted, changed, evolved. Your priorities and your values have shifted greatly. Are you even the same person? The level of maturity has been absolutely phenomenal when it comes to your growth and your fertility and your renewal and your personal strength. For some of you guys, this is mind, body, soul, spirit. You have been so hyper-focused on getting the mind right, getting the body strong, um, practicing your spiritual rituals, your spiritual routines, purging and speaking your truth, speaking your heart's truth, and really accepting and acknowledging your own truths, everything about you has been authentic. And because of this, things are falling into alignment. For those of you guys that are steps behind that, you have accepted aspects within yourself that are authentic, authentically you and where it is that you're ultimately going, but you might be struggling as far as getting the rich, getting the rituals and the routine in order. That's totally fine, you guys. I see eight of pentacles here. I see the death card and I also see ten of pentacles. You are clearly working on it. Give yourself some grace and compassion. There is a lot of trans transformation that's been happening around you. I also just heard the word renewal and as soon as I saw that, I saw hanged man and ace of pentacles. So you are going to get a really strong sense of renewal and inspiration, divine inspiration or even divine intervention as far as something, a tool, a resource, that, a resource that's going to help you to become successful. Major, major success is written within these cards already. I'm seeing the number 10, 10, 10 a lot and with Magician card here, something has totally ended and then we're stepping into this new beginning. Where are you at with this? I can't stress it enough, you guys. Spirit is really coming through really strongly right now to say seven of pentacles. Take a step back. You don't have to know, know, know the steps to take. With page of swords, you guys are really wanting to know specifics. Where are we going? Where is this headed? What are the next steps? What do I need? Where are the tools? You want it all in a list. Spirit is saying, you know what? We are not going to promise you these detailed specifics. So don't get hung up on those detailed specifics. We will though remind you that everything that you need in order to be successful is already come, comes from within. When you take this seven of pentacles type of energy, when you take that step back and you look at all of the different aspects of, of your life, you are going to invite in divine intervention, divine inspiration to say, okay, spirit is leading me to this tool. Spirit is leading me to this resource. 
or somehow I cross paths with someone, something that has exactly what it is that I need at the right time in order to help me to be tremendously successful, you guys. Tremendously su su successful. I do see a door has closed, a chapter has completely ended when it comes to a very, very stubborn space within your life. A lot of you guys know this already. You've been kind of cleaning up the ashes of this and a part of you is almost waiting for it to try it again, to show up in a different way or show up in a different route or come in, you close this door and it comes into the back door, it comes into the window and that's where you get this triggerization where you're like the audacity of you to show up and try me once again. Um, I just heard the word power of performance. Some of you guys are so tapped into your own intuition and you are so tapped out of where it is that you've already come from that you have zero tolerance for those and you are heightened aware, like your sensitivity and your intuitive knowledge that some people that are showing up, they're just trying to show up and perform. They're trying to convince you and you're just like, literally, I don't want to hear it. You guys have really closed out a chapter within your life. I'm really, really getting that strong sense right now. And because of that, you will be rewarded. Wow. Saying that, we have the world card. The world card is the next to come through. You have learned those lessons. You have put that behind you. Queen of Wands, you understand your worth, your value. The crazy thing is, you actually spoke up about it. That's something that's coming through right now. For those of you guys that said, some, said to someone or said to something or said to the universe, this is what I want. I really don't want to play games. I don't want to play games. I don't want to repeat this cycle. I don't want to play with you. I don't want to play with this. I have put everything on the line here. This is exactly what it is that I'm working on. This is what is I'm invested in. You, Spirit is recognizing that power, that energy. For those of you guys that haven't yet, the full moon in Cancer is going to be that time for you to speak up for yourself when it comes to, I'm going to protect this. This is mine. This is where I belong. This is where I truly belong. Cancer does naturally rule the element of the family. So with Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, the Magician card, the Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Pentacles here, and Eight of Pentacles, for some of you guys, you really are starting on a new journey when it comes to family creation or creating a healthier dynamic within your um, your home life now, Spirit is encouraging you tremendously. Spirit is almost saying, you know, we're watching you, kind of watching others who are doing what it is that you want to do. Definitely take pieces of that, but also realize that you have your own wisdom here that you can bring to your family, that you can bring to the generations that come before you that would be very um, substantial, like very good. Like you, you know what you're doing too. You know, you're taking some inspiration from other people. Oh my gosh, yay. Yep, someone's definitely getting pregnant. <laughs> Congratulations, or you're finding out. Um, Prince of, the Page of Cups is here, Nine of Cups, someone's definitely Three of Pentacles. Come on, that's, someone just got pregnant. Congratulations, I love that. With the World card, Queen of Wands, my loves, you just, you were doing it, weren't you? <laughs> I'm, I'll let you, that's your business, but. That's amazing. Queen of, and Queen of Wands and all these energies, come on. Somebody is definitely. For those of you guys that are not pregnant, which there's going to be a lot of you who aren't, congratulations to you as well. Um, or if you're not family planning, this has a lot to do with you are co-collaborating or you're connecting with something, someone that is really, really emotional fulfilling after a time of drought. It has been a winter a winter in your life, man, like a winter. You have been hung up. You have been second guessing and doubting. Is this ever going to happen? Is this ever going to, it, 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 is my life, this area of my life, is it ever going to thaw out? If, am I ever going to see progress within this? Is this ever going to come to fruition? Am I stupid to even believe? Am I stupid to even believe? And spirits like, you know, Cancer Full Moon, this is when we're going to see really strong signs of this manifesting, of this happening. With the Ace of Cups showing up right next to Ace of Pentacles, the Magician card, the Death card, Ten of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, the World card, Nine of Cups. I mean, this is so happy. This is something that you've had, again, I've been telling you guys this for a minute. I've been really sensing that there's like this abandoned dream, abandoned wish that hasn't manifested yet. It's been planted, a seed. It is manifesting, you guys. Please believe. You've been actively co-creating and painting this. 
you knew what you wanted since the moment that you were born and you've been waiting am i i keep hearing am i stupid to believe in this am i stupid to wait for it and you've been in the winter of your life you've been in winters of your life a dark 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 point and you're really going to start seeing these flowers popping up. You're really going to see renewal here. You're really going to see the reemergence. You're really going to see life stirring up like spring here. I definitely get that feeling. I definitely get that vibe. Let's take a quick pause and I will revisit this reading after a word from our sponsor. Hello, my loves. Really quickly before we start shuffling cards, I wanted to share a quick word from today's sponsor of our video, Cozy Earth. For those of you guys that don't know, they're one of my favorite brands and I was so happy to collab with them on sets that you can find on their website and they were kind and generous enough to offer you guys 50% off off anything that you choose to purchase from their website. Anything that you buy from their website are temperature regulating. They wick off moisture. They have an enhanced weave quality that won't pill over time. They are super soft and every single product from their website is covered under a 10 year warranty. Again, I've got the link down below. You can go ahead and visit that link, get 50% off using my coupon on code the discount code Bahati Life 50 and now back to the intuitive message so yeah again big shout out to cozy earth for sponsoring today's video and the updated coupon code for you guys to use is Bahati Life 45 for I'm pretty sure 45 or 50 percent off your order which is a huge freaking chunk that's generous that is so generous okay spirit what else do you need us to hear know receive understand at the time of the cancer full moon for those of you guys that don't know um the deck that i'm shuffling with right now is the wheel of the year tarot oh that makes a lot of sense okay spirit 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 i heard the word calm okay calm calm to your center calm to your center Um, I'm hearing, I'm hearing like, okay, I, so at one point I was hearing waves crashing, 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 and then all of a sudden it's like time just flew and then everything becomes still. And spirit is acknowledging that there are some people who have been living in some really tumultuous weather, some tumultuous times in their life and things are going to start calming down as soon as things start calming down you're going to panic because you're going to be like what the fuck is going on you're like almost expecting the worst to drop the next like storm to roll in and storm to hit and spirit is like that is beyond you now um you've don't it's like we there's this understanding always of expecting the worst but when the worst is over don't expect it to continue to carry on okay i don't see you some of you guys are fearful that you're manifesting things because you're speaking about stuff that you've been struggling with or things that have bothered have been bothering you spirits like no it's actually really good for you to get it off your chest that's how healing occurs um but we're not here to hurt you. We're not here to, the word specifically was like, we're not trying to harm you. We're not setting you up. Yeah, Princess Page of Pen Pentacles right is here. I wanna talk to you guys about that for a moment. Oh, and Ace of Cups. We're not trying to set you up for failure. We're not laughing at you from the cosmos, from this um, ethereal space in, in the world and in life or in the universe and just, this is some Truman show where we, it's all a joke. Um, it, to say that things are a lesson kind of tri trivializes trivializes the experience. It's not just solely a lesson. Um, some things do happen that just suck. Um, and spirit is just like, right now, at this stage in your life, we want you to talk about your experience and journal it out and get it out and be authentic. So don't pretend like everything is fine, I'm not scared, I'm not nervous, blah, blah, blah. Um, if you guys hear any noise, my dog's gonna be barking in a little bit. Um, don't pretend like everything is fine when in reality you're panicking or in reality you're excited. And can you even tell the difference between anxiety and, and, and excitement these days? You know, what's the difference? 
So give yourself that, realizing that, you know, things have been muddled, things have been misconstrued, things have been twisted around for, for quite some time. And it's going to take you some time to figure it out. It's going to take you some time to feel like it's safe, but also know that it is our intention to make sure that you know that you are safe now moving forward and the worst really is behind you. And if there is anything moving forward that could be tumultuous, you are in good hands, you have a good community around you, you have good friends, you have good people, or you're going to have connections around you that are going to be by your side so you're not going to have to do it alone. Are you open, willing, and receptive to that at this time moving forward? Because that's, that's the new you. With Cancer Energy, this is really about, ooh. <laughs> I'll show you this card in a minute. Ooh, Lord. We gotta talk. Okay, um, with Cancer Energy, this is really about finding your, where you belong, um, especially if you're a person who's felt for a minute that you've been abandoned. That is no longer gonna be your reality, my love. Having said that, here we go. We have the devil and the ace of wands. I do not feel like this is a bad thing. For some of you guys, you're like, uh-uh, no, no toxic energy. This doesn't feel toxic. Believe it or not, it really doesn't feel toxic. It feels like passion. Feels very, very sexy. Um, I mean, ace of wands and the devil card? Come on, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> um... Yeah, I mean that's hot. That's hot. Ace of Ace of Ace of Wands, the Devil card. Some of you guys are really tapping into some strong, powerful, seductive, masculine, feminine energies coming together. Emphasis on the masculine. I mean, it's very, very strong. It's very, very powerful. This could be okay. Next cards. Wow. Okay. Ten of Cups. Eight of Cups. We have Five of Wands. We have King of Cups. And we have Six of Pentacles. Something, someone, at some point has walked, had walked away. You have walked away from it, from they, from them. And why? Because you knew that you were not getting enough. This person has deeply figured out that they cannot do this life without you any longer. If this is not a return from someone from the past, especially with the Devil card here, this is going to be someone absolutely that is because you've walked away from something that literally they were giving you crumbs and you like I've been saying you guys I feel like a broken record but I keep saying like someone was accepting crumbs and then all of a sudden they say I know that there's a banquet over there I'm going over there and then this person is like wait what or when you go to that banquet table, you meet someone who is substantial, who's awesome, who's solid, who's stable. Relationships have been coming up a lot lately. A lot. Why? I really feel like universe, God, source, higher power, whatever, has been prioritizing the depth of intimate connections. I'm, it's not wishful thinking, okay? If you guys stepped into my life, you would be like, yo, Jess is the queen of swords and Virgo all throughout her chart. So... I typically don't like prioritizing relationships. When I'm in a relationship, my Venus and, and Libra gets activated, but for the most part, I'm I'm Queen of Swords, so this is not wishful thinking, all right? Something or someone sh is showing up, and with the Devil card, you guys, I really don't feel like this is something from the past. I feel like you, you, you see something, and you are struck by them. You say, yo, this is it. Like, you can have this really strong sense. It is undeniable chemistry. This is it. Like, holy shit. Holy shit. I didn't know, like, a person like you existed. And I want to be entangled in this. And it really does trigger some anxiety here. But this person really has a lot to give and take. I think your major obstacle right now is going to be your fear and your doubt and questioning. Is this safe for me because of how strong you feel pulled into it you guys are going to be really disarmored you're going to be really um like it's almost like love at first sight or lust at first sight um and you're wondering like can i have both this doesn't feel like something but spirit god the universe mark my words is focusing on soulmate connections soulmate connections stop saying no to it stop blocking it out stop doubting it like Stop putting up resistance within yourself that says, no, 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 this can't be. 
I mean, I, I just, someone's got to hear that. Someone has to hear it. What if this is it? What if? So, okay, we have next, we have King of Pentacles. We have Two of Wands. We have King of Wands. So, <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter your, your sexual preferences, nothing like that. It doesn't rip. It doesn't matter how you identify. Masculine energy is coming through really, really strong. Ace of Wands, the Devil card, King of Cups. King of Wands, King of Pentacles. Pretty sure I saw the King of Okay, King of Cups. King of, the only you know what? The only person that's missing is the King of Swords. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Woo! Watch him show up now. No. Six of Cups, Seven of Wands. I knew it. I knew someone's gonna be having a rekindle from the past. I mean Mercury retrograde, Venus retrograde. What can duh, like of course. This person did do a lot of growth. This is someone that you walked away from, clearly, for some of you guys. Um, I, with the world card and with the um, ten of, I don't think you guys had ten of swords, but ten of cups. You guys in the, oh, ten of cups is here. You did close out a, a stage within your life, a chapter, and this is not going to resonate for, or, um, yeah, resonate with everyone. But, so I feel like someone really said, like, literally, like, sayonara. To something or someone and now you're moving forward and because of that things just really freaking aligned they really aligned whoever this person is they've been having a lot of anxiety about it or you've been having a lot of anxiety and just really kind of second guessing like you know are we ever gonna see each other again are we ever gonna talk are we ever gonna communicate um, for those of you guys that this is a brand new connection because there's a really strong emphasis on brand new connection I'll let you use your discernment especially with two of wands here for those of you guys that have a brand new connection, this is your soulmate. I don't even want to like talk about it any further. Like maybe we can talk about it further. Maybe we'll maybe we have to do a, a soulmate reading. Um, yep, Hierophant. This is your soulmate. This is your partner in crime. This is your life partner. You, this is your twin flame. All of the above. Uh, all that you can imagine it to be. Everything that you've worked so hard for. Finally, you guys meet meet each other. Um, everyone's going to be different. We have so many different types of masculine energies coming through here. Um, yeah, hangman. So just allow it to just be. Allow it to just be. Bring your best self. Speak life over to this connection. For those of you guys that are working on families, partnership, finding your home, finding your purpose, finding your destiny, this is it. For those of you guys that are so hyper-focused on work right now and you're not open to relationships, don't be surprised if love just kind of, you know, hangs you up and says, come to me, my love, come to me. Or maybe it's not, For I, I just feel a lot of, that, that's how you're gonna know. <laughs> you're gonna see them and you're gonna just be like, wow. I just keep hearing the word like, words, like you exist, you exist, you exist? And you're looking at me? Me? Cause I'm looking at you. And it's just like, woo, come on. Ace of Wands and the Devil card. Come on. That's hot. In the words of words of Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie from The Simple Life, that's hot. This is definitely a soulmate from the past. Or the past lives. That's what it is that I'm sensing. That's what it is that I'm feeling. Um, I don't really want to break that down into anything else. I feel like it's a very specific message for love and relationships. And with Page of Pentacles here and Ace of Cups, you deserve it. For some of you guys, you have children. I don't know why this is coming through. This is a very specific message. For some of you guys, you had children with someone else and you just thought that, yeah, you were just going to fight with them, five of wands, um, and that this was just going to be it for you. And then all of a sudden, you you meet someone who just, just totally unhinges you and just totally derails what you thought could ever happen. And... You, just got, you guys just vibe. You just mesh well together. And then it's just, that's all she wrote. And you're just like, I never thought that this could happen. And yet here I am. If this can happen for me, this can happen for everyone else. And right now, you guys, spirit is really hyper-focusing on, I just looked at the romance angel, so I guess we might as well shuffle, right? Um, right now, you guys, spirit is really hyper-focusing on the quality of connections, the quality of relationships, and repopulating the world in a beautiful way. Some of you guys are non-traditional parents. You're going to be non-traditional parents. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Uh, all right, Spirit, go ahead. 
use me that's what i keep hearing use me channel 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 allow me to channel for the collective i keep hearing calmness in the disorder calmness calmness in the disorder calmness in the chaos I heard this is really random dysfunction made dysfunction made me new. Of course you're gonna have me change chasing it. I'm hearing um how do how do you feel beautiful? This is for men like men and women. How do you feel beautiful? For my guys, how do you feel beautiful? What makes you, not handsome, beautiful, my love. What makes you feel beautiful? You are so beautiful in the eyes of your partner. Beautiful, yes. I know that men are so used to telling women that they're beautiful, but men, you're beautiful too. Some of you guys are just so beautiful inside and out. And I say some of you guys because some of y'all are beautiful inside and out, but you don't act like it. And same thing for my females. What makes you feel beautiful? What makes you feel lush? What makes you feel vibrant? Men, tap into that feminine energy. And females, be open to connecting with masculine energy. Because it can be hot and heavy. <laughs> I'm hearing um, don't give yourself away so fast. Um, I heard some things are like dormant. So some things really, oh my God, wait till you see these cards. Some things are dormant, meaning like they just should be left. They're still falling out. Yeah. So you guys need to hear this. The cards that we pulled, we'll start with that. It is safe for you to love, finally. Finally. Keep an open mind. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Honeymoon and attraction. I just heard the word Jeffrey, too. Interesting. Jeffrey, Jerica. Um, there's the word Alice. Or the name Alice. Devante. <laughs> That's very specific. Um, Devon. Devon. Some of you guys are connecting with um, celebrity. Um, some of you guys are very protective of of that. That's a whole nother reading. Um, for those of you guys that know what I'm saying right now, you know. For those of you guys that know, will know. That's not a message for everyone. You're very protective of that. Um, good. Um, and then we have attraction and honeymoon. So legit, it's it's when you're doing you, when you're doing what you love, you will see someone, time of the full moon, sparks fly, doors open, shit happen, ow, shit happens. Um, I just bit my tongue, so some of you guys are gonna be like tongue tied. Keep an open mind with this, meaning stay open to what can happen. It is safe for you to love. It is time for it now. It's good for you to find love. It's good for you to share your life. It's good to intimate, intimately connect with someone who wants the best for you and you want the best for, for them. Um, the ascendant on this chart is Leo. Leo rules the center of the heart, the hearth. Meanwhile, we have the full moon happening in the sign of Cancer. This is the home, the warmth of this, everything. And sun sitting in the sign of Capricorn, final degrees, says, I protect you. I'm protecting you, I'm keeping this safe, I'm keeping this solid, and I'm stabilizing it. With Mercury moving retrograde, now on the side of Aquarius, and sitting directly on top of the part of fortune, it's going to happen when you least expect it, it's going to be a lightning bolt, and it's going to change your world as you know it, totally, for your future advancement. Mars, it's going to be when you're out adventuring, some of you guys are going to be out kicking a soccer ball, or throwing a football, or playing sports, or whatever, and you just... Kind of like the movie Just Married when Brittany Murphy, God rest her soul, RIP to the queen, 
when she gets hit in the face with that football and then it's Tom Sazak or whatever his name is. Um, they just, that's how they met. So some of you guys are about to get hit in the face with a football. <laughs> um, I'll take it. Okay, go the distance. Yeah, so just follow your intuition here. Where is spirit leading you right now? Where is spirit leading you? Oh, be in. Be receptive. Be open to receiving this. And I did say this. That masculine energy, be open to recept being receive or be open to re being receptive right now. Because some of you guys are the are the blockage. I love you. I love you. Thank you so much for tuning in to this video, you guys. I'm I'm in a good mood because this reading just made me so happy. Please let me know down below in the comments. Invite me to your wedding. Come on, I deserve a <laughs> an invite to your wedding now at this point. Send me the inv invitations to uh, my P.O. box, which is linked down below, and I will be there. Or if there's a birth of a baby, oh my god, that is so exciting. If there's a birth of a baby, I want, I definitely, I definitely want to see the little nuggets and give them a blessing. That is the sweetest thing. On that note, you guys, I'm going to go carry on and move on because i've got to take care of my own babies in this case fur babies i'm sending you guys all of my love if you need me you can find me at bahadilife.com and you can also find me on tiktok because your girl is there and on instagram at bahadilife be please be aware of scammers spammers down in the comments and on anywhere i'm not offering any readings there's only one Bahati life um, and that is me, so just make sure that you're not getting scammed, spammed by anyone. Also, for those of you guys that are actively trying to spam and scam others, I'm coming for your ass, okay? Coming for your ass. We got candles lit, honey. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.